Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm the Walking Whale and I hope everyone is doing well and ready to get your hands dirty as today we're going to be building a very simple but very beautiful Minecraft bridge. We're going to be building this in this beautiful forested area with some pretty starter worthy materials so you can build this bridge pretty early on in your survival adventures. I also want to quickly say I'm unbelievably blown away by your support on this channel so far and I can't wait to see how we can expand this together. So let's set ourselves a goal of hitting this video to 100 likes and press that subscribe button if you want to see more awesome videos like this. Now let's stop gibbering on and get onto the build. So as I said before we're not going to need a lot of crazy materials for this build, we're just going to need some stripped spruce logs, oak slabs, spruce slabs, spruce fences and gates, oak stairs, spruce buttons and some beautiful flickering lanterns. And that's it, pretty easy. So let's get building. So the first thing to do is find the centre of the river and build two columns of stripped spruce making sure that there are four blocks above the surface of the water and these two columns need to have two block gap between them. These will form the middle supports of the bridge. Then we need to build another four columns either side of the ones we've just built, again making sure that there are four blocks above the water level. There needs to be a three block gap between these and the ones we've just built in the centre. Then we need to build another four columns, like so, but this time they need to be one block shorter than the rest but still leaving a three block gap between them and the previous ones. Now we're going to take our oak slabs and make a 2x7 platform in the centre of the bridge like so, making sure that it connects to the top half of the second block from the top of the columns. Now, for a bit of interest along the side of the bridge, we can grab our oak stairs and place them under the columns upside down like so, then fill in the gap in the middle with another oak slab. Once we've done one side, do the exact same thing on the other side, so it's perfectly symmetrical. Then, we're going to make a step down using more oak slabs, like so, on both ends of the bridge to form a gradual incline, or decline depending on which end of the bridge you're at. Then another half a block down we're going to make a 2x4 platform like shown again on both ends of the bridge. Then we're going to get our oak stairs out again and just repeat the pattern that we did before on these lower platforms. Now we can really start to see the basic shape of our bridge, looking good right? So now at the end of the bridge I'm just going to level out the ground slightly with some grass blocks, you can do this if you need to, you might not need to, and then add four more slabs to form the first little steps onto the bridge. Repeat this on the other end as well. Now we're going to use some of our spruce slabs and place one on the top of every other stripped column starting on the first two columns like so. Then we're going to come back in and in each three block gap we're going to create a railing with some fences and some gates and adding those gates in the middle of the fences just adds a bit more detail and makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. Now speaking of detail, we're just going to pop out a couple of the strip blocks and replace them with some more strip logs, but this time turn them on the side so we can see the ring texture on the sides of the bridge. Do this on both sides and then do it again on the end columns but replacing the blocks one lower than the rest. Then finally, go around all the sideway blocks and pop a little spruce button on each one to make it look like a wooden nail or a wedge that's keeping the bridge together. 
Then we're going to quickly add four lanterns onto the remaining columns just to brighten up the place a bit and so you can see it in the night time and you don't end up falling in the river. Now this bit is optional but I'm just going to add a bit of texture to the surface of the walkway by replacing some of the oak slabs with spruce slabs just to make it seem a little more used, worn, give it a bit more history. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend a little bit of time just sprucing the place up a bit and doing a bit of terraforming using cobble stairs and slabs, a bit of mossy cobble, plants, shrubs, gravel to make the place look a bit more natural and make it fit into the landscape a bit more, you know. You can do this too, just, you know, feel f free yourself up a bit, just place blocks where you feel looks good, you know, where you think it looks natural. And if you'd like me to do a terraforming tutorial, then let me know in the comments below and I'm sure that's something we can do. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, our simple but very beautiful bridge. I think you'll agree that it's turned out pretty nice and it would make a great addition to any riverside village town or even just a temporary walkway to get across a river. Also if you're interested in which shaders and texture packs I'm using I'll post them in the description below for you to have a look at as well. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up below and if you want to see more then you know what to do, press that subscribe button. For those who have already done that, thank you so much, it means the world to me, your support is amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Tati bye.